Mic check one two one two. Hey guys, this is Tableau of Epikai. I've been working hard on a project called Mindset for a very long time. It's a very personal project with stories from my life that I've never opened up about until now. In my mindset, I'm gonna share personal stories that discuss mental health, the human soul, and big time controversies, to fatherhood, love, and even how to become a billionaire. I can't wait for you guys to hear it, and I really hope you all enjoy it because this was made for you. You can check out a free episode right now if you go to getmindset.com. That's g e t m i n d s e t dot com. Again, that's getmindset.com. See you guys there. Welcome to the Beauty Bar, where we tend to beautiful people just like you. We are your hosts, Joan and Stephanie, and we want to make sure you're treating not just your face, but most importantly, yourself right. I hope you're excited about today's episode because we'll be talking all about how to deal with skin trouble. So yeah, stay tuned. If there's anything skincare related that you want us to discuss in future episodes, please let us know on our socials at the Dive Studios. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. And please leave us <laughs> on Apple Podcast a five star rating so more people can find out about the show and learn about skincare with us. Okay, you know, from mm-hmm. time to time we break out. Yes, our face doesn't like us sometimes. I definitely get that, and you know, nobody has perfect skin, twenty four seven, and things like stress, the environment, weather, or even PMSing, your skin sometimes gets a little bit out of control. Right, of course. And I mentioned, I believe, a few episodes ago. <laughs> Again, if you haven't listened to it, check it out. Um, I had adult acne. Mm-hmm. And my face was full of cystic acne, acne scars, redness, pizza face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. And that's how I got into skincare mm-hmm. because I wanted to do something about it. I wanted to cure it and heal the redness and um, clear up my skin. And so, luckily, I was in Korea when. It starts to get even worse because in Korea there's just so many different brands and products that you could yes. check out. Yes, mm. but as you know, just because you have blemishes or acne doesn't make you less of a beautiful person. Yes, but it can definitely take a toll on your confidence. Mm. For sure, I couldn't look at people in the eye when oh. I had conversations because I was so insecure about. My pimples, yeah, and so um, I know how it feels like if there's cystic acne because you really can't do much about it because if you pop it more, it grows, it spreads, and it just does not look pretty. And so, yes, in today's episode, we will be talking about acne, um, but let's talk about the types of acne to get us started, uh, what might be causing it, how to treat it, and so on. Mm-hmm. Well, let's start off. Uh, here are some common types of acne as listed by GoodRx.com. Whiteheads. Oh, yes. Oh, we're very familiar with those. Yeah. Um, probably most common ones. Do you go in… You go into the skincare clinic often, right? I I do. Yeah. Now, I definitely… I started going once a week. Mm-hmm. And I love it. I love when they pop my pimples. They always have something to pop, right? <laughs> Even though you can't see it. I always go in so confidently thinking I'm having a good skincare day. I probably don't have anything to extract. And then boom, 50. They find something. Yeah, they I find, love it. Under that ring light, yes, it's game over. It is. She comes with her little Q-tips and yeah. she's just like, oh. And I'm like, yes. It hurts so much. Hurt but me. <laughs> it's very satisfying. <laughs> hurt you. <laughs> no, but usually it's the whiteheads. Yes. That you can't see. And yeah. Let's see. What are whiteheads? Also known as closed comedones. Yes. Happen when pores are clogged all the way through. The length of the pore and the head of the pore are closed, creating a little white bump on top of the skin. 
It's important to note that whiteheads can't be removed or fixed by squeezing them. Uh, so don't try to pop them on your own. Otherwise, you may end up with scarring. That's very, very mm -hmm. difficult. Because I love you, huh? popping them. Oh my gosh. I can't. I can't pop it. I learned the hard way because when I used to have a lot of acne… Especially when they turn into zits. Mm -hmm. I would think, oh, super poppable. And there won't be any problem. But I'm not gonna get to the deep root yes. of the pimple. So it actually… Um, bacteria gets into it. Yes. And it you makes can't it get worse. it all the way out. Uh -huh. yeah. Right. So I don't recommend popping your own pimples, yeah. Stephanie. <laughs> don't listen to her. <laughs> no, it's so… Like, You're not supposed… <laughs> and I know that. Mm, and yeah. I try not to. But it's fun for you. I feel like everybody has that like temptation. Uh-huh. To be like, mm, let's see what's in here. Right. It's no, so I know what satisfying. you mean. But also, I'm so thankful that they have those pimple stickers in Korea. You could go inside an olive oil and there's like a wall of different brands of pimple patches. Because once you stick that on, you just kind of don't touch it. You forget yeah, about it. you don't it, touch right? it. And also, yeah, you don't pop it. And people can't see it that well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of hidden. I, I love like. those. Mm -hmm. Very life-changing. I used to go through so many of those when I had a lot of pimples. And yeah, I, I could go on and on about acne topics actually. Because it took me three, four years to get my skin to look the way it is now. It looks really good. I used to not leave the house for grocery shopping without makeup on. Because oh. I was so insecure. And so… For those who are listening today who are struggling with this… I feel you. But this is one of those things and problems that get better over time. Don't, yeah. don't You can try, learn about it. Right. Yeah. And no product out there is going to promise… I mean they will promise immediate results. But that's usually not the case. It's all about slowly but surely mm -hmm. removing that. Like yes. It takes time. Yes. And I feel like that sometimes people want a solu like solution right, right. away. And… Just get it off. Yeah. But you say it just takes time to mm -hmm. get to know your skin, what you need, what your face needs. Right. Yeah. So another type is blackheads. So unlike uh -huh. whiteheads, blackheads look black on the skin surface. You'll usually see these around your nose area. Do, mm -hmm. do you get blackheads around yes. there? And they are known as open comedones because the head of the pore remains open while the rest of the pore is clogged. Blackheads can be removed by squeezing, although that's not recommended because it can cause scarring. <laughs> I don't squeeze blackheads. They're too yeah. painful. Especially yeah. on the nose. But… I know. feel like it gets worse. Like the pimple will be grow if you touch them. Yes. Do you do those um, pore masks around your nose? Yeah. Like really? I told you in the last episode. Oh yeah. Or the, the ones that, mm -hmm. that pull it out. Yeah. Or at the skin clinic, they have like this little suction tool. Uh-huh. Have you tried yeah, that? Yeah, they yeah, like have. suction it mm -hmm. out. And then my nose first looks like a little strawberry. Yeah. <laughs> little holes Oh my gosh. It. Yeah, it does. <laughs> And then a, a common way dermatologists remove it is with Q-tips. Mm -hmm. With Q-tips. And that hurts. Yes. But <laughs> it does. It really hurts. Yeah. It's just so… I love going to the dermatologist with my boyfriend. And then… I Fiance. Just, <laughs> fiance. <laughs> I know. How many… Is it one every, episode? every episode you call in your boyfriend? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this guy and I'll take off the ring. I should be like, what about your fiance <laughs> next time you do that? <laughs> I love going to the dermatologist with my fiance. Okay. And then I love watching him getting his pimples and blackheads extracted. Yeah. I just I always <laughs> ask if I can work here. Really? Just and to the lady is like, you have to go to like the school. Yeah. And I'm like, how? <laughs> Where do I go? <laughs> Because my boyfriend says he's like, you can only pop my pimples if you're a dermatologist. And now I low-key want to just go to school. <laughs> just, just to for... learn how to properly do mm. it. So I can pop his his stuff. His stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so bad. <laughs> no, for sure. Um, and then my least favorite from this list are cysts. Cystic acne. It's the most severe form of acne and is also the result of an infection deep within the skin. These are large, red. You can't cover these up. They're painful Ooh. and filled with pus. You Do know, you watch <laughs> Dr. Pimple Popper? <laughs> no, I don't because show. it brings back old memories. <laughs> no, but okay, for cystic acne, have you had, had them before? 
No. Oh, you I haven't? haven't had like severe like, like thick. Cyst. I haven't. Uh-huh. I've had like pimples and right. stuff, but never like. Or I guess it could be considered like one that's like mm-hmm. really stubborn and just yeah. there. I've I've had like one or two of those right. for sure. Those are super painful, yes. and I didn't. I once popped it by myself and it made it worse. So that was my lesson there. Never pop your own pimple. That was like seven years ago. Don't get too excited. <laughs> I don't do this. I and then <laughs> I went to a dermatologist to do something about it. And in Korea, they… Uh, do, they put the shot in. Yeah, the, I hate those. They're so painful. They're so bad for your skin. Um, it's, what, what is they're it? steroids. It's, yeah, it's and so steroid they shot. freeze your acne like cystic acne and then it gets flat but later it's actually bad for your skin so every time I go to a dermatologist if they're like oh do you want a shot I say no just pop it for me like I don't want Uh, to disturb it it's a quick fix I only do it it if Mm -hmm. I have like a shoot coming Mm -hmm. up like in the next day or two and I'm like I need to get rid of this and it's like manon it's ten dollars I think to get one of those shots yeah yeah very affordable in Korea well one thing I actually struggle with. Um, I don't know the medical term of it, Mm -hmm. but I guess it's called strawberry skin. Mm -hmm. And most people have it on their thighs, legs, or on the back of their arms. Those little red bumps. Right, right, right. And it's really annoying. (laughs) Yeah, I used to have those too. You know how I got rid of it? What? what? Because I just started like trying uh, a way. No, I've always had it. Deep cleansing. Yes. But also moisturizing. Exactly. Moisture is key for removing it. And so it's gone now. Oh. I have it really bad on my thighs Uh actually. And my legs after I shave. Mm. It's like ingrown hairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's mostly bacteria also kind of clogged in there. So I started using face wash Mm -hmm. on my legs. On your legs. (laughs) And it actually… It's been like a week now and it gotten less. And then I use face wash on my legs. And then I use a sugar scrub… Which, you know, get kind of like the dirt and the dead skin off. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, out of the shower, I use shea butter. Oh, yeah. Just pure shea butter. And I, my fiancé, already asked me if I'm a salesperson for shea butter. Because I keep (laughs) like promoting it in our house, how awesome shea butter is. You promote it in your house? for your to him. For your fiancé and your dog? Yes. I'm like… Have you tried the shea butter? And he's like, please stop. I'm like, can I put it on you? And he's like, please stop talking about shea butter. But it's so awesome. It's Mm. so addicting. And I just smear it all over. And it's actually gotten better on my legs. It's just… that's good. You know, in summer, it gets worse in winter when I wear tight clothes. Mm -hmm. And especially the nebok. Mm-hmm. What's it called? Long johns? Yes. In English. A pajamas. But like the Underneath ones that long tight. underwear mm-hmm. in winter. It gets worse. Oh, okay. And in summer, it's not pretty. I feel like she's really insecure about that. Oh, okay. So I've been trying to get ready for summer. And mm-hmm. finally… Have you like waxed your, your legs before? Yes. It, I, sugaring. I, lo- oh, I sugaring? live by sugaring. That could be an episode one day. <laughs> we could talk sugaring? about it. Yeah. Hair removal in general. Hair removal. Mm, it's oh fun. Oh my god. I tried waxing once and it was… It made my legs even worse. I recommend sugaring. <laughs> and we'll get to that in a future episode. <laughs> it's very great. I love how… Um, my hair doesn't grow as thick anymore. Oh, very smooth. I need up. to go in oh, soon. Oh, you're so soft. Yes. I'm soft. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what are the main reasons why acne exists. There's many. Yes. And finding the right one is very important. Mm. Mm. Uh, number one, excess oil. Sebum. Mm-hmm. Excess oil production. Hair follicles clogged by oil and dead skin cells. Bacteria inflammation are the four main reasons mm-hmm. that causes acne. And the following reasons trigger or worsen acne. Mm. So also hormonal changes. Do you ever get more breakouts when you're about to be on your period? Oh, 100%. Yes. That's when I break out yes. now. I don't break out often. But sometimes I will get an occasional breakout here and there when yes. it's that time of the month. It, it really mm. it does affect my skin too. Yes. I'm like, so, it's about that time. Yeah. So hormones that increase in boys and girls during puberty and cause the sebaceous glands to enlarge and make more sebum. Hormone changes during midlife, particularly in women, can lead to breakouts too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
and certain medications. Example includes drugs containing corticosteroids, testosterone, or lithium. Mm. Actually, when I changed my birth control pill, it made me break out a lot too. Oh, really? That can really affect… You no, know, not only your, your breakouts. Because some… I remember in high school, many girls started taking birth control because it does help acne. acne. But for me, it did the exact opposite. Oh. And I got a lot of pimples oh, okay. all of a sudden. And But there are different types of yeah. pills that help with acne though, Yeah, right? exactly. So oh. I actually like, took a while to find the one, that's, the one that works for me. Yeah. Because I tried another one and then it made me super emotional. Mm. And I would just cry all the time for no reason. Oh, it's… No. It's tough, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, diet. We talked about this in episode 2 or 3, I believe. Mm-hmm. Where um, when I was in college, I gained <laughs> this weight of 17 pounds. And I would eat super unhealthy. Healthy oh. diet reflects on your skin. And so if you eat unhealthy and eat a lot of processed foods and dairy, it will probably break you out. So yes, diet is very important. It is. Sorry, I had to think about the photo that you sent of Which you one? winning the, oh the food contest yeah. thing or eating the… Uh-huh. The ice cream. The ice cream. Mm-hmm. I just had to think about that. You know, when I found it, I was like, oh yeah, I found it. This will be great for the podcast. And then I was like, oh, I don't know <laughs> I if I want the world it. to. I don't know if the I want the world to see it. It's so cute. <laughs> but yes, and another popular reason why there's acne is because of stress. Oh yeah, that's me. Yeah, That's same. definitely… I'm like, important shoot coming up. And then my mm. face like, let's break out mm-hmm. right now. Yeah. And the worst is… You know how they say you should um, stress less for your skin? But when you get a breakout, you start stressing out even more because of that cycle. Breakout. Right. Of stress yeah. and pimples. And so those are some reasons why we get acne. Since you said you did have your fair experience with acne, Mm. what treatments do you recommend? What popular treatments are there that you found that really help? Right. Um, One of the biggest things for me was having a skincare routine. Mm -hmm. Because back in the States, I was so unfamiliar with the 10-step skincare routine. And how there's such thing as a double cleanse here in Korea. So I think once I incorporated incorporated the double cleanse, Mm -hmm. my skin started to get better. And Mm -hmm. so having a good home care… Definitely helps. Mm -hmm. And of course, I do like to go into the skincare clinic to get my extractions. Sometimes I go in for a laser. It's a lot of work. But (laughs) yeah, you'll be satisfied once you see the results. But yeah, that's how I got rid of it. Mm -hmm. Some popular Korean acne treatments. uh, One is laser treatment. And it's not the first option for acne treatment because it can be pricey. However, laser treatments show the best improvements. It heats, destroys the under layer of skin, which actually eliminates the cause of Mm -hmm. acne temporarily. Also, laser treatment is also highly effective in treating acne scars. And so personally, I like lasers to fade acne scars, not to treat the acne. Mm -hmm. Mm. To Have make you it. done? Yeah, I've actually done laser treatment um, a while. Not too long ago. Oh, really? And actually, I was terrified at first. And it smelled like samgyeopsal. <laughs> and they were doing it. Like Korean barbecue. <laughs> yeah. Because I think it also burns off like the fine hairs yeah. on your skin. So it smells like you're at a Korean barbecue restaurant a little bit. <laughs> like honestly. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like just like grilling meat. And I'm like, mmm, <laughs> yummy. But I did like it. Um, because I did have like a few scars and I did have a few popped blood vessels, like really small ones. And he was just like, zap, zap, gone. And I'm like, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> How often do you do it usually? Lasers, I don't do often anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, actually, I never really did it as often as I wanted to back then. But I, you know, it is very pricey. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think in one year, I like to go in two or three times maybe yeah. for to help with the um, scars mm-hmm. mainly. Um, but yeah, there are other ways you can treat acne. In Korea, you can apply… Take pills and apply ointment. This is a very basic way to treat it. And most dermatologists suggest this. Yes. Mm. Actually, my roommate in LA… 
she did have um, adult hormonal acne. Mm -hmm. And she started taking pills and it cleared it up. Yeah. She had like, you know, especially it's on your your jawline mm -hmm. and your chin. So Almost painful. like your, your beard. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But she started taking pills from a dermatologist that he recommended. And it now it's gone. Mm. It's gone. And I thought that's so awesome that it actually really, really helped her. Right. A lot of my friends here tried Accutane. Mm -hmm. Rule Accutane is also very popular. And then antibiotics. Mm -hmm. So there are definitely great ways to treat it here. Extruding acne by oneself should be avoided. This is mostly because of hygiene issues. The acne extrusion process is essentially accompanied by wounds and the skin gets vulnerable. Bacterial infiltration. Extruding acne from dermatologists is safer but still may cause pigmentation. Therefore, acne extrusion should be an incidental treatment accompanied with other treatments. Mm. Getting that shit popped. Yes. Okay, I'm going to read the last one because I just um, talked a lot of… Mm -hmm. I talked down on this one actually. It's the inflammatory injection. Uh, acne is basically one type of inflammation, which is why inflammatory injection is another way to treat acne. Steroids such as trim… Okay, put edit the word in here. Triamcinolone. <laughs> Are injected She's in reading it over <laughs> your voice. Yes, are injected into the lesion to relieve inflammation. Um, this is um, a steroid, and so I mm -hmm. personally don't want to depend my skin with these shots because if I my skin is used to this, it's just going to want it even more and more. <laughs> and when I had really bad acne, I actually went into the clinic and of course they did some extraction, but there was a day where they injected, I think 25 of this on my <gasps> face. And I, you know, back then I thought this was going to be helpful. Many? Yeah. In, and this was a bad dermatology just experience personally because after that, of course, the next day, my skin calmed down. But weeks later, it started… You could see it again in the same spots. Yeah. So I don't recommend these shots. But again, if you have an important shoot coming up and you just need an emergency… I have a lot of mm -hmm. friends who do go in. They pay Manon to get the shot. And then, you know, it removes it's like, it. Like it's mm. the day before your wedding. And right. you have a giant pimple. Yeah. And you're like, I need something mm. now. Like that's a… But you shouldn't rely on it. Yes. You know, and that and they hurt. They hurt. They so hurt so much. much. Yes, yeah. <laughs> of course. Yeah. So this was on the list, but I don't recommend it. But if it's a must, like mm -hmm. maybe you could check it out. You know, we just talked about there's many possible reasons for acne and many treatment possibilities. Mm -hmm. But in the end of the day, I think it's important to just kind of see what works for you mm -hmm. or try different things. Yes. You know, I'm very happy that you found your way yeah, out of acne. It took time, but you are your own skin expert. You know what products mm -hmm. are going to work for you. You know what treatments are going to work for you. Even though there will be some trials and errors on the way, um, it takes time. Again, acne is not something that will disappear mm -hmm. overnight. You can do it. <laughs> we believe in you. You can do it. <laughs> All right, so we asked you guys for any burning questions you may have on Discord. So let's start with the first. I don't know how you guys come up with these usernames. <laughs> um, but the first question is, what products are a must-have for someone with no prior experience? Absolutely zero experience. Poof. A must-have. Are there any like holy grail items that you kind of… Cling on to whenever you have breakouts or in general skincare? Well, general and skincare, if you're just starting, I would just recommend getting a… First, figure out kind of what your skin type is. Mm. Try… Do you have combination skin, mm. dry skin, oily skin? And then find a cleanser. Yes. I think even if you just have a cleanser and a good moisturizer, if that's the only two things you do, I think that's in the beginning is already a good first step and right. then you can build it up from there. Mm. Maybe throw in a sunscreen. Yes. Maybe you have to throw in a <laughs> sunscreen. <laughs> I honestly can never answer these questions of what products are a must-have. Like I can't pick one. But I think what you said, a cleanser, a moisturizer, SPF. Those are the three main things that 
you need in a basic skincare routine. And once yes. you master that, you can add in a serum, an ampoule, a sheet mask, or yeah, you know, some eye cream, right. like whatever Emotion. you Emotion. Kaya asked, why is wearing no makeup sometimes considered unprofessional in the workplace? Is it? I was going to say That's same, rude. same thing. Is it really? That is rude. That is not unprofessional. Is it? PD-nim? I think some people uh, will, might get called out at the workplace for looking bad, like, dish, like, like messy. Mm-hmm. And it turns out like, oh, they're just not wearing makeup. Oh really? Like, have, like they won't know that's what it is. Yeah. Like, that's what the difference is. But they'll be like, "Couldn't you have put effort into your yeah. parents like type thing?" And it turns out it's like I'm just literally I'm not, clean, wearing but I'm not wearing makeup. That is I offensive. Think that's, I oh, think that's, that's probably crazy. Happened. I it hasn't happened to me, but I can imagine it might have for some people. Oh. Oh wow. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, if you want to wear, if you want to do the minimum makeup, maybe just throw on a. Under eye concealer, so you look less uh, tired. I think, I think the, that's the minimum. The cheat code is having a pop of lip color. Then it'll look like you have it together. Yeah, <laughs> you don't need anything concealer, else, just mascara. Like, I feel like and lip, you mm, golden. Yes, <laughs> but the answer is mm. it's not unprofessional. It's yeah, I don't think it's unprofessional. Yeah, it's not. Man, and I'm super unprofessional. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm, I'm thinking about all the times I didn't wear makeup to a meeting. Yeah, it's not unprofessional. Yeah. All right, Gio asks, what kind of lipstick stays on the longest? Lip gloss, tint, satin, etc. What is it? What about you? Do you have a preference? I like lip tint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to do the full lip liner, lipstick thing, but I think that Did just Did you have gets- a Kylie kit? <coughs> Kylie oh, Jenner lip I, kit? I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I've never tried it too. But <laughs> um, I just like, you know, like just like a little bit of mm. color. Nothing too, mm. too crazy. But luckily, because right now we're all wearing masks, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> I don't wear… I just wear lip balm because I want to keep mm. my lips moisturized under the mask. But personally for me, I really like matte lipsticks. Mm-hmm. They just tend to stay longest for my lips. But it's not the case for everyone. Everyone has different lips. Kind of like Sien. Everyone has a different skin type. Everyone has different prefer- <laughs> preferences. Yes, exactly. Blah, 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 all right. <laughs> So that's going to wrap up today's show. Thank you guys so much for listening. If you wish to stay tuned and updated on the show, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Dive Studios. Full episodes are on youtube.com dash dive pots. Also, please join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash The Dive Studios for exclusive content and ad-free listening from The Dive Studios Network. Ad free listening. <laughs> and once again, Patreon. please subscribe and review this podcast with five, five stars. stars. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Bye. Five stars. You like that? You like that? You want some of that? You want some of that? <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. And please turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss an episode. Nope.